Hey everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge. Welcome back. This is day four in my 28 day fly lady cleaning routine challenge. Today is Sunday and Sunday is a little bit tricky for me. This is what happens. Usually on Saturday night we go and we have movie night at a friend's house and yesterday was Willie's turn and we actually watched something that to my surprise was interesting. We watched, um, what was it? The Boy and the Beast. It's an anime movie it was kind of weird here and there but it was pretty good actually it had a good story and a couple of good teaching moments for the kids so we actually enjoyed it but we come home late so on Sunday morning we wake up late and Sunday I have my own personal routine which I'm not sharing with you today because I already did it and it's basically eyebrows facial hair mask um, you know cleaning the skin I take a shower I scrub my feet I do the uh, pumice on my elbows and my feet and that's about it so that takes a little bit of time so I'm all freshly showered but I'm about ready to start my weekly home blessing hour. So now when you follow the fly lady, you know what the home blessing hour is. If you don't, I'm going to give you a real quick um, rundown of what happens. This is the day where you do several tasks and you do them every single week when you do your home blessing hour, which she actually does on Monday, but I work so I can't. So you start with your bathrooms and in the bathroom you do the swish and swipe, which is your regular routine, but you also clean the mirrors and you know all of the mirrors and you do some dusting and a little bit of decluttering but you um, vacuum the floors and you mop your floors then you move to your master bedroom if you have one you change the sheets do a little bit of dusting a little bit of decluttering not much like really just put things back where they belong that's it we're not going deep inside the drawer to try to get rid of stuff we're just doing a spruce up that's it and then you vacuum your floor um, if you have a floor that can be mopped you mop it I'm gonna do my staircase and then you move on to the next um, area of your house and you pretty much do the same thing so the home blessing hour is mirrors and windows if you have them you just do the swish and swap you vacuum you mop you change your sheets and a little bit of decluttering and spruce up so if you have a small house or an apartment it's going to take you less than an hour if you have a big house like mine it take definitely it definitely takes more than one hour plus i'm filming i'm talking and you know so it's going to be more than an hour the video not the video, but the actual task. So I'm in my bathroom. I'm going to start with that. It's been swish and swipe yesterday. So the sinks and all of that, they don't really need to be done, but this is the day where you disinfect really. So I have this new thing. Um, well, new to me, probably not to you. This is a steam, um, a handheld, um, cleaner. This is by Pure Steam. I'll put the link down below. I've used it only once since I purchased it and I think it was under $25. It comes with a ton of accessories. You can do your windows with it. I am not using the accessories today. I'm just going to steam the stuff. Um, it's just kind of like an attempt at using less chemicals in the house and plus I think it works faster. I, I don't know. It's just me. Um, so I'm dressed comfortably. I have no shoes on because I didn't buy any. Um, I looked on the internet yesterday. I was looking at Birkenstock and a bunch of other brands. So I'm very undecided as to what I want. I definitely don't want slippers. I think I want just indoor shoes and I may just get a pair of sneakers. I'm in socks. You're supposed to dress up to shoes. Okay, not following the rules as usual. So I'm just gonna get started. I'm not gonna show you everything in length. I'm just gonna sh give you probably befores and after and a little bit in between um, of how I do things, but mostly I'm going to tell you what I do and that's it. So the narrative is gonna be kind of short and I have to tell you, I just watched um, Denise's video and I commented on it. Watching cleaning videos to me is very satisfying. I don't know why. And I guess you're watching this video because you find them satisfying too. It's just interesting to see how other people clean, how they maintain the house, especially if you struggle and this is a challenge for you to keep your house clean and maintain it. And you are drawn to those videos. I totally understand because I love that kind of videos. I find them motivating. They kind of, um, 
perk me up, they get me moving, they get me to do something. And a lot of you comment on my channel after you watch a video. Sophia, I got up after I watched your video and I went and did X, Y, and Z. And I think it's wonderful and I'm giving you kudos for that. That's all I need to hear, that you're watching a video and it does something to motivate you and get you going and doing something good that you're gonna feel good and proud about, okay? So let's get started. We are in my master bathroom. I'm just going to start with sprucing up a little bit on the counter because I did a mask today. Um, you know, and so I, I just gotta clean a little bit and then move on to other areas. And after that, I'll go into my master and do the rest of the house. So yeah, cleaning. bathroom is done. All of the surfaces have been cleaned and sanitized. I did the floor. I did the vacuum and I mopped. Um, there was a couple of coffee stains on the counter to care of that but otherwise everything is nice and clean. I have the two rugs going to the laundry and yeah I mean look the steam thing works pretty pretty good. I'm very happy. Altogether it took less than 15 minutes I decluttered a little bit, I got rid of the candle I never ever use and then um, some kind of glass stuff, watered my plant and I am done. I emptied the trash can, I need to change the towels but they're downstairs so on my way back up I'll do that and now I'm ready to move to my bedroom so 15 minutes in the bathroom.
So here's the office and I have barely anything to do in here. I'm just going to pick up the trash, clean the top of the counter. I don't have any decluttering to do. I'm going to vacuum and mop the floor and maybe dust a little bit of the computers and that will be it. So I'm in William's room and I'm changing sheets. You know, usually I do the sheets on Thursday. Um, but because I was filming Thursday and got home a little bit later than usual, I have a chance. So I'm doing the sheets now. And his room is not bad, but I'm definitely going to dust a little bit. He's in charge with putting things back where they belong. So he's been pretty good at that. Um, he used to stuff things underneath his bed and he no longer does that so that's a win if you ask me and I'll just dust and same thing vacuum and whoo I'm out of breath vacuum and mop that's it oh and in case you're wondering I am cleaning the mop in between I have extra rags which the second one the clean one I'm going to use for downstairs but the one I've used so far before I moved down to the second floor and I did the stairs, I actually um, cleaned it with some Clorox and you know, like give it a good scrub and then reused it. a big house <laughs> okay so I'm at two hours and five minutes granted I've taken breaks um, and I spent 15 minutes in most each room except the office 
to declutter. So one, two, three. So about an hour of that was just decluttering. Um, proofs that I have not fully decluttered the house and we're still not putting things back where they belong. But I've done two floors so far. Now I'm ready to tackle the first floor. And the first floor I'm only going to dust, vacuum and mop. That's it. Because it's been super decluttered, super clean, deep clean over the past um, three weeks, you know, with my Back to Zero series. So I really don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to declutter. I don't have to pick up things, nothing. I'm just going to go in, vacuum, mop, and that's it. I'm not doing the windows either because I did them um, the last time. Um, what am I skipping? I skipped the mirror here and I skipped that window and I skipped the kids' windows. I will do them um, when we get in that zone because, uh, you know, it's a lot. I have a lot of windows. <laughs> I really do. Um, there's two in each room, so that's four, six, seven, eight, nine so on those two floors it's nine windows already so i don't know i think that's a lot i'm not sure anyway let me go back to the first floor again quick dust vacuum mop that's it We are in the basement and it's actually not bad because I maintain I just have to vacuum and then I'm going to roll those uh, rugs and I'm going to steam mop this whole area. Here we have um, one full two loads of laundry that I need to go upstairs. I have two baskets that are empty so we're doing laundry. Yeah definitely have to vacuum in here and then I'm going to uh, vacuum the laundry room. I definitely need to vacuum underneath my uh, quilting table because I have little threads, you see, little stuff. Your quilters, you understand, right? And then I have to um, kind of reorganize this a little bit, though I'm about ready to start quilting. So let me do that. I'll be right back and done for the entire house. All right, so all of this is vacuumed. I mopped the floor. This is all nice and clean. The only thing, you know, when you um, read the fly lady, she tells you when you vacuum, just vacuum the middle of the room. I can't do that. I gotta go and move stuff and go and get corners. Well, at least get the extension and do all of the corners. But all of this is nice and clean. Um, I don't have any sodas. There, was, there really wasn't anything to declutter in this room because the kids have been staying on top of them. I really am. Um, Every day I tell them if you left something down in the basement, you gotta bring it back upstairs because I am not spending two days cleaning this basement. So, yep, it's done. Um, yeah, um, admission, I did not do my table. Why? Because I'm about to go back and quilt. So, I don't need to do it. It's gonna be a, um, a big mess. I'm still using all of that fabric. So, yeah, it's done. I love the new mop. So, how long did it really take? Okay, let's be honest. This is not a weekly home blessing hour. I spent at least 40% um, of my time picking up stuff. So, obviously, I still need to work on the decluttering and 
putting things back where they belong. So that being said, because I said I was going to time myself, right? Every time I stopped to move camera or have lunch or whatever, because I took a lot of breaks, um, I would stop the time on my phone and it's three hours, 11 minutes. I cleaned the whole house in three hours, 11 minutes. You guys think about how long it would take me before to clean the whole house. Remember, I would start at like nine o'clock in the morning and I would be done 12 hours later. Okay. So yes, there's definitely progress. I am not where I want to be though. No, I am not. Um, I would love to be able to do a true weekly home blessing hour, but I don't think I will ever be able to do that because it's the big house. And I mean, it's true. There's, if you're going to mop and you're going to dust and you're going to do the windows and um, what else? You swish and swipe. That's done. The sink is shiny. Um, okay. So hold on. Let's go back. Ugh, I'm losing my brain. Um, all right. So you change the sheets, you make the beds, um, you swish and swipe, you vacuum all your floors, you mop all your floors, you dust your furniture, you empty out all the trash cans and put the liners back and uh, you do your windows and you do all your mirrors. This is the home blessing hour. It will take more than an hour to do this house. Okay. Um, I'd like to get under two hours. That would be great. So I'm at three hours, 11 minutes. Granted, there was um, some decluttering involved. So if everything stays the same by next week, in the next home blessing, um, weekly home blessing cleaning video, I should be under three hours and 11 minutes, right? So we're going to try to see if during the month of February, that's going to be my personal challenge. Can I get, can I get in the last week of February, the last Sunday, um, can I get the home blessing, the weekly home blessing hour under two hours? If I can do that, that would be awesome. In the meantime, I am done. I had lunch already. I'm going to have my afternoon coffee. Um, I'm going to quilt. And then later on tonight, because Sunday, since I cleaned the house and um, I get pretty much involved in a lot of filming and stuff, Scott usually does dinner for me on Sunday, so I don't have to worry about it. So when he prepares dinner, I will edit this video. So it will be posted later on tonight. So you'll get to see that uh, later on. But right now I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm going to quilt. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the beginning of week two, zone two. And that would be the kitchen. We're doing the kitchen from Monday to Friday. So I'm going to try to follow the flight plan from the fly lady. The first one tomorrow is appliances. So we'll do that in the kitchen. And then it's just to keep it short because you've seen the kitchen. It's pretty clean, right? So I don't have to worry too much about doing the cupboards and all of this stuff because it's all decluttered and clean. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my girls, Melody at Transforming Melody. Denise at Dear Lovely Life and Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. The playlist is down below. They are doing the challenge with me. And if you are a YouTube creator and you want to do the challenge and post videos, even if you only do um, one weekly video, you don't have to do it every day. Please let me know, send me a private message so that I can add you to the playlist and you can also add yourself to the playlist. Okay. I will talk to you later, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.